Hello guys, okay, it's Liam here from internetfitpro.com. I just want to show you guys how to set up your Google Places account. This is one of the easiest ways to get traffic from Google. And if you do it properly, you can get your own page one for the search terms that you want to appear for. So it could be personal trainer, your town. So I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to take you guys through the process by setting up a listing for someone else. So what you guys need to do is you just need to go to google.com forward slash places. What that'll do is it'll take you to the this the splash page. So if you have an account, basically go and sign in. If you don't have an account, you gotta basically click on get started for free and sign up for Google accounts. We're gonna sign in. I have uh, Matthew's password here, so I'm just gonna paste that in and get on get his email address. I've got all his notes. Okay, so once you put your email and password in, click on a sign in and that should take you to the home screen. Okay, so you need to agree to Google's terms and conditions. That's dead easy. Just click on that, press continue. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to search for his business. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a new business, so uh, we, we, we know it's not going to be on there. And uh, this is called Barbells. And there's one in America, but doesn't seem to be there. Uh, barbells in Luton. Okay, so we, we know that that's not one of his businesses anyway, so what we're done is we're just going to create the business listing, which is really what we wanted to do anyway. So, what this has done is it's basically taken us to a uh, just a simple form. So we're gonna just gonna go through and copy and paste his bits and pieces in. So his business is called Barbells. Now if we're doing this, I would suggest you use a keyword such as your town. We've done one for James Hanley, uh, who who's, was Revolution Fitness, and we basically put it to be Revolution Fitness Dublin. That's what I'd recommend. I'm not going to do this with this one because we're just going to leave the information the, the, the way Matthew has, has, has done it. We can change that at any time, by the way. So his address is as follows. Let's just copy and paste this in. I've just got to go through this very, very, very quickly. And as you see, the map will change. And then when we put the postcode in, it should it should give us a little marker. Okay, so postcode goes in next, and his phone number. Uh, it's it's better if you have a landline phone number because it's more likely to 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 get you to rank higher. It's it's just different ranking factors on this. Have a, have a landline number is, 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 is just one of them. Bridge Street, actually. I'm going to need to put a line. Okay, so just had a little play around and basically managed to get the listing up and running. So we're going to continue and verify that what this will do is it will basically send a form, send, sorry, send a postcard to, uh, to the address. Uh, it's Matthew White. So what I'm going to do is Check that everything's okay there, which it seems to be. Uh, send it. I forgot. Okay, so that what that'll do is that'll that'll send a postcard, and what'll happen is once Matthew gets that, what'll happen is it'll have a little pin number in it. And then what we need to do is just go through this and add all the rest of the information. So add your photo, uh, edit some of the, uh, the the important information. Obviously, we've got phone number in there. We've got categories. You can add different categories. Uh, 
uh, I'm not going to add gym to this because Matthew's based in a gym and Google's not going to like the fact that there's two, two gyms working from the same address. Uh, you can add your hours in there. I'd, I'd recommend adding some photos. We'll, we'll put a description in there because I've asked Matt to supply that. Let's just copy that. I would also recommend on this you put in a keyword rich description. So basically try and get the word personal trainer in there or, or try and get the word gym in there if, if, if that's what you're doing. And there's a little line at the top here that will basically take you guys through the process to tell you what you need to do. It's dead easy. Just follow the follow the instructions, and then once you're done, you can verify it when you get your post postcard, and you should be on Google very 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 quickly. What we'll do is we'll show you guys how you can get people to leave your reviews and how you can rank a little bit higher. And what that'll do is it'll basically allow you to to start climbing above your competition. If you have a little look on have a little look on, on the personal trainer Manchester one you can see here that I mean obviously this bit here is the, the, the paid for ads and this is a, what we call a seven pack hopefully there's seven of them one two three four five six seven yeah this is a seven pack and this is what Google generally will throw at the top of the search results for local searches. You can see Northwest Personal Training Manchester, that's that's mine. You can see the fact that I've got 43 reviews on the Google Plus page. That is massive because that is telling Google that my business is being used, it's being reviewed, it's relevant to what people are searching for, and Google is big, big, big into relevance. Okay, I'm going to leave you guys to it. If you have any questions or you need any help, please put it in the Facebook group. And uh, in the next video, what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you guys how to actually go and get, get more reviews from your clients. Okay, cheers.